This is Divorce, Happy, and Successful, the number one spiritually focused self-empowerment podcast for divorced parents that's dedicated to helping you live the fulfilling life you deserve and experience the happiness you long for. Let's get into today's show with our host, W. Mark Watts. Hey, everybody. In today's episode, we are going to discuss several ways, several very easy and practical ways to overcome fear after your divorce. So why are we discussing this topic? It's because I talk with and I work with divorced parents on a daily basis. And of course, as I'm talking and having these conversations and we're working through things, there are several things that become very obvious and evident in our conversations. And regardless of the face and the shape that your fear actually takes, more times than none, the bottom line of the issue or your worry is fear. Now, we won't unpack exactly why and how that happens right now, but just know that at the bottom of almost every issue you could possibly have is some fear. Now, that fear is important because we all felt it, regardless of whether it's Fear that you'll never find another mate or get married again or fear that no one will ever want you and your kids or fear that you're all out of out of shape. Fear that you won't be able to survive financially. Fear that your kids will be looked at differently at school. Fear that you will be talked about. Fear that your kids won't have the life that you dreamed and on and on and on. You can manufacture almost any fear you absolutely want because after your divorce, though your mind works, your mind is going crazy because so many things are happening and you will buy into almost anything that you've heard, that you've read or that you just have seen happen in other situations. And you think that it could potentially be your destiny as well. So I get it because one of my main fears after my divorce was how was my son going to handle it? You know, how was he going to deal with it? Would he be okay? Would he, you know, would he just be one of those kids that ends up really struggling with it and we have a lot of therapy or would he hate me or would he hate his mom? Or we, I had all kind of thoughts about just how was it going to affect him? Because you don't know. I did not know. And that was my main concern after my divorce was just how was my son going to handle it all? And to this day, it's still no longer a fear, but it's definitely something I think about and it's constantly on my radar. So as a parent, as a concerned parent, I'm always trying to be in tune with our communication just about life in general and really about how he's doing, you know, in all the ser- various aspects you know how is he emotionally how is he mentally you know is how's he growing physically how's he adjusting to you know being a teenager and all his friends so i try to make sure i'm very in tune with the things that are going on in his life because my underlying thought is did my divorce did you know our divorce really affect him in a negative way and that's something that we may never ever know for sure but we can do the best that we can to help him deal with life on a daily basis. Now, let's get to a handful of things that I've done and that I teach other people to do and that I know will help you overcome any type of fear that you have. So let's dig into it. Number one is, and if you've listened to any of my episodes in the past, you know I've talked about this before, but let's go back over it again. Don't think that you're alone. So the thought is the thing that you should do is when you have these fears, especially the ones that really keep you up at night that you really think might happen, you need to share those fears because your fears continue to have power as long as you keep them hidden inside and you try to hide from them or you try to run from them. Then they still maintain that power. Matter of fact, the more that you allow them to hang around in your mind, they get bigger and bigger and they get stronger and stronger. So what you got to do is you got to find someone that you trust. Again, we all have that one person, whether it be a friend or a brother or sister or aunt, uncle, maybe a mom or dad, whomever. Or And if you don't have anyone in your immediate environment, uh, f- seek someone out, you know, seek out a, a counselor or someone 
that's a member of the church congregation or a member of a local divorce group, divorce related group. But look, reach out because there are resources out there available. So be willing to share your fears because I can guarantee you when you start to share them and you get other people to listen to you and maybe sometimes talk through them with you, you will realize that that fear becomes a lot less, you know, has a lot less of a hold on you because now you've shared that load and you have allowed yourself to not be in this by yourself. And you will realize that fear will start to dissipate. Doesn't mean that you still won't have to deal with these issues, but that huge fear that you were holding inside will start to lessen. Number two, make a plan and take action on whatever that situation is. So if you have a fear that your kid might not be dealing with this thing with a divorce very well, then you've got to start to talk with your kids. If your kids aren't talking to you, then you may have to find outside help because anytime, again, you let that thing fester, you let it grow, then it's going to have more power over you. And we cannot allow our fears to have power and control what we do and how we behave and how we sleep and how we act and how we spend money. We have to take action. So put together a solid plan, even if it's one or two or three steps, just do what you can to to deal with that situation right away. Because when you start to take action, you will really start to see that you can make progress toward it. And what I've learned over time, too, is that when you run toward the problem instead of away from it, you will realize that you weren't as afraid of that thing as you thought you were. It's all in the mind. It's all a game. Number three, take a look at your life. Take a look at the things in the past because we've all had super fears. I remember when I was a little boy, my biggest fear growing up was for though I'll show my age a little bit was Sasquatch. You might know him as Bigfoot. Back when I was growing up as a little boy, that was in the beginning times when we first were uh, introduced to this concept of Bigfoot. And I lived in a neighborhood and there were a, a lot of woods behind my house. So of course I took it to heart and I really thought there was a chance that Bigfoot might actually be living in the woods behind my house. And so as a little boy, I always feared for my mom. I never wanted anything to happen to her because I thought Bigfoot was going to come out and do something to hurt her and my family. So I used to pray all the time that to keep us safe and away from Bigfoot. Now, that might seem funny right now, but we still have just as many ridiculous fears as adults as we did before. The key point is List, write down five things that you feared, that you had a lot of fear about. And then look back and see, did those things really come to pass? Did it really happen the way that you thought it was going to happen? 95% of the things that we fear never, ever, ever happen in our lives. But yet we get stuck with that story of fear, with those thoughts of fear, and it prohibits and it forces us to maybe behave and do things that we wouldn't normally do. So understand that the things that you are thinking that you're afraid of are never, ever actually going to happen. So stop being afraid of them. Let them go and make a habit of starting to walk down these fears because that's just what it is. A lot of it is just fake stuff, fake stories, fake thoughts that we, that our ego builds up in our mind to keep us in this space that we're in right now because we don't, are not going to stay in this space. We are going to move forward and be strong and take action and be great in our post-divorce life. So if anything in this episode help you, I hope that you will take me up on my offer. For those who really are looking to get that additional assistance that you might need to get over that fear, to get over that hump, to really move forward financially, to really recover from your divorce, get over your former spouse, help your kids get back into the game and understand what this whole thing is about. If you need help with that, please go to my website, check me out, W Mark Watts, that's W-M-A-R-C-W-A-T-T-S dot com. Check out on the right hand side, there'll be a button, schedule a free rapid divorce recovery session with me. 
during that session, you and I will talk with one another. We'll find out something that's really bothering you right now. We'll put in that action plan and we'll get you off and moving toward a better place. Even if it's just one of these fears you want help getting rid of. Whatever it is, check me out. Let's have let's talk. I'm really looking forward to helping as many people as I can in 2017. And I'm starting right now with this, this new approach. I, I enjoying doing the podcast. I'm enjoying the emails. I'm enjoying getting talked, you know, talking with people on social media sites. But there I know there's some people out there who want to go deeper, who want more attention, and I'm here to help. So just seek me out, send me an email, give me a call, numbers on the website. Let's talk. Let's take this thing to a level. Let's eliminate these fears and let's really move forward, recover from our divorce and move forward powerfully into our future. So until the next time we talk, take care of yourself. Do the very best you can for yourself and for your family, because at the end of the day, you all deserve. We all deserve to live our post-divorce paradise. And I know You absolutely are making strides and you deserve it and you are going to have it. So until we talk again, take care, everybody. Look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye now. You've been listening to the Divorce Happy and Successful Podcast. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to leave us a five-star rating and review on iTunes. Until next time, stay focused and keep moving forward.